So if they want you to solve this equation between zero and, and two pi, there's two ways to think of it. You can think of, let me let me just kind of give you a visual for it to help you understand. Remember what the sine graph looks like? Yeah. The sine graph goes like this. From zero to two pi. That's usually what it does. Right? But when I take this and I put a three in front of the angle like there, what did I just change? Do you remember how the period oh. equals two pi over b? Yeah. So what I did is I just turned I just I just changed it and I put three I basically put three of those cycles in in two pi. So what you really did is you did this. It goes one cycle there. I know I didn't draw that very good. Two, well, let me start that over. It goes one cycle, two cycles, three cycles. That's what happens. So normally, where is negative one? Negative one is down here. It's at the very bottom. Normally, how many times would that touch? in one period, how many times would that touch? Mm. Normally it would touch only one time, right there. Your unit circle oh, only normal. touches negative yeah. one at three, 270 degrees. The sine is negative one at 270, yeah. right? But but when you, when you do this, when you put a three there, what you just did is you just made it happen three times. So that's three. Right. So that's the visual idea of what's happening. Now, how do I actually do that? There's a couple ways to do it. The way I prefer to do it is what's called u substitution. I say let u equal 3 theta and then just write this. The sine of u equals negative 1. Where does that happen? It happens at 3 pi over 2, which we just talked about. But it also happens every 2 pi from there because the period is 2 pi, right, of a normal. So it all add 2 pi, which is 4 pi over 2, right? and you'll get 7 pi over 2, and you'll add another 4 pi, and you get 11 That's pi over 2. Why did I do it twice? Because I need 3, because I know there's going to be 3 yeah. answers. Well, now, am I trying to solve for u, or am I trying to solve for theta? Theta. Right, so re-substitute re 3 theta in for that. And then you divide by And then divide by 3 and you get theta equals yeah, like 3 that. pi over 2 times 1 third, which means the 3's yeah, will cancel. Yeah. So pi yeah, you so get pi over 2, 7 pi over 6, so and 11 pi over 6. That's option 1. Okay. Here's option 2. Instead of doing that, you could have fed, said to yourself, well, I know the period equals 2 pi over 3. And I know one of my answers is going to be do that just for one of them. You know that 3 theta has to equal 3 pi over 2. So theta equals pi over 2. And now add 2 pi over 3 to that. And then add 2 pi over 3 again to it. Because that's what you're doing. It's happening. It's going to keep happening every 2 pi over 3 that value is going to keep happening. So if you do that, you'll get pi over 2, and then if you simplify that, you'll get 7 pi over 6, and then you'll get 11 pi over 6. You'll get the same answers as you did before. Either way, you can do it either way. Take your pick.